In this video, I'm going to talk to you about how to keep warm in a cage room. Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about how to keep warm in a cage room. So the main problem I suppose is because it's an open top car and for any time of the year you need to dress for the occasion so when it is getting colder and when you're in the autumn and winter it's definitely important to make sure that you are keeping warm yourself. Yes a car does have a heater but not all of them do but even with the heater sometimes it's definitely good to make sure that you are dressed for the occasion. So for me when it's during winter times like it is now we're at the end of November that means making sure that I've got lots of layers on I also try and keep my arms free as best as I can because I don't want to feel like the Michelin man, especially when you're kind of harnessed in as well. So this body warmer, for instance, is really good and it's also a heated one. And I've only bought this quite recently, to be honest, and I wish that I'd bought it a long time ago because it's so helpful. And I'll leave a link in the description below. But what it does have, it has some heating uh, elements in it. So uh, I don't know if you can see, there's some buttons here if I want to have uh, warmth on the front or the back. And it just makes it for a, a lot nicer experience and even when you're outside the car i would advise to keep a beanie hat or a bobble hat in the boot as well because even if you started off on a nice day when it starts to get a bit colder later on it's yeah very handy to have and also a decent pair of gloves lots of different driving gloves available these ones are actually fia approved and i also use them uh, for track days but they're just yeah perfect to have in a catering and for feeling the steering wheel through the gloves Luckily my catering does have a heater so it makes it a little bit easier for me to keep warmer in autumn and winter. And I will show you now where the heater or where the vents actually are and how you can adjust it. Here is the heater button. There are three settings. Off, low speed and then high speed. Here are the two vents and you can adjust the flaps of the vent and they also swivel, which I didn't actually show. I'm also sorry about all the wires that you can see, but more on that a little bit later, but also to do with filming a little bit. Here is the heat adjuster lever, which is under the dash close to my right knee. If you have it all of the way out, it is on the hottest. And if you push it all the way in, then it's on the coldest setting. So if you want the most amount of heat, you would have this lever all the way out and the heater switch on the highest setting. Obviously being an open top car, it's quite hard to keep this car warm inside because there's nowhere to trap the air. What you will find is if you do use the full hood, which I don't, but even with the half hood, you'll find that it does help keep the warmth in. It's easy for me to say this, but it is definitely true. But I'm also gonna try and show you um, with a little experiment. This is the night before in my garage and you can see the two temperature gauges are showing the same temperature. I also show where I have put the sensors. The inside one is on the passenger seat belt representing where my body is and the other one is outside the car. As you can see I'm sat in a lay-by and this is the end of November and you can see that now these temperature gauges are showing different temperatures. The one that's outside is showing 7.6 degrees and the one that's inside is showing 8.3, which makes sense because it is a little bit windy and it's a little bit colder outside than inside the car. So let's get the half head on and then go for a drive. When I start driving, I will have the heater on its hottest setting and also the fan on its highest setting. It will be interesting to see what temperature it gets to inside. Then when I've managed to get to the maximum temperature, I will stop and then take the half hood off to compare the temperatures. So now what I'm gonna do is um, get the heater on its warmest setting by moving this lever out. And now by turning on the fan in two places. Gonna make sure that the vents are pointing in a good position.
one thing is with the half foot on it does make it a lot noisier in here so hopefully you can still hear me even from driving for a very short amount of time I should have timed this I might be able to give you an exact time now from editing but it's now saying 15 degrees inside here uh, this has actually been really interesting to me but depending on how accurate these gauges are it seems while driving it seems to be around about between 24.4 and 24.8 degrees but definitely a lot lot warmer than not having the half foot on at all so i've just stopped now and i've done my little test drive with the half foot on the temperature range from 24 degrees to high 25 degrees i'm not sure how accurate these temperature gauges are but that's what it was for general driving with the half head on. Now let's get the half head off. The half head is now off, so let's see what the heaters make inside the car while driving. I think it'd be a little bit warmer but not massively different um, I was, to be honest I was surprised how warm it got with the half it on um, but again I don't know how accurate these temperature gauges are but it definitely gives you an idea at least so the heater's on its hottest temperature and now let's put the fan on the maximum All right away we go a little city driving around with sunglasses on and a bubble hat or a beanie but this is what happens when you end a them. definitely better to be more comfortable in your own car than care what you look like so for the feeling I can feel that around my legs it's definitely quite warm not as warm with the half hood on but it's definitely warmer than not having the heater at all just by moving my hand just down here it feels a lot warmer but obviously when it gets to this kind of area the heat just goes it's still a little bit warmer than outside it's showing nine degrees and outside showing seven but what i will do in a minute is move the temperature gauge to being underneath the dash because that'll be a lot warmer i think but it also proves how much you lose obviously because it's an open top car so what I've done is I've moved the temperature gauge now to be on top of the tunnel bag. In the middle there's like a little compartment at the top and straight away it's going up so hopefully it kind of shows a difference or what I'm feeling kind of on my legs area. But yeah, but that's still climbing at the moment but yeah, it's quite surprising how quick that's climbing. But obviously that makes sense that when the heat gets to here it's just gonna go out the top obviously because you're trying to heat the world i suppose and obviously the lower you are in the car that will obviously help you keep warm as well one place where the half it works really well especially at night time when it starts getting a bit colder is when you've obviously got the heater on then is uh, when you're on the motorway obviously you're doing higher speeds there so it's easier for the air to obviously go out of the car as well but it makes a, yeah it makes a massive difference on the motorway but personally i try to drive the car without the roof on as much as i can it's fine today it still is a little bit chilly having this heated uh, body warmer makes a massive difference um, and like i said i wish i bought one of these earlier and also handy when you go to like car meets and stuff like that because there's a lot of standing around so 
underneath the dash the average temperatures between 19 and a half degrees and 20 degrees so it proves that it's a lot higher there which makes sense because it's right next to the heater but without the roof on it's more than pleasant yeah it's a little bit chilly but that's fine hopefully you found this video interesting i know i've been surprised how warm it actually got with the half foot on i always knew it got warmer but i was surprised how warm it got but i can't tell you how accurate these temperature gauges are but at least it gives an idea but it's more than fine to be driving the cage room in this time of year it's the end of november outside it's between seven and eight degrees at the moment they've not gritted yes the roads are cold so you need to keep your wits about you but you need to keep your wits about you anyway but this is why i don't saw in the car to be able to drive on a day like today well hopefully you've enjoyed this video and please like and subscribe if you haven't already it makes a big difference to a small channel like mine and don't forget every stone chip tells a story and i'll see you in the next one as you fade away